Okay, guys, so um, late afternoon, we've re-aired the tyres. We're heading south out of Mount Dare. Um, um, old Andado. Oh, yeah. From Alistair. Yeah, yeah, yeah good bloke. Right. Oh, yeah. uh, we offered a bit of help, but everything was okay. So then we went into our typical campsite in the afternoon, set up camp, get the fire ready, start cooking dinner. But uh, this night, I am feeling really, really bad. I'm uh, starting to uh, do things out the rear end that I really didn't feel capable of doing all night. And I tell you what, I was sick all night. Barely got any sleep. Anyway, we get up in the morning and we head south down. Not the typical uh, route from Mount Dare to Nadatta. We've taken some more uh, sort of side routes absolutely no one on the dirt roads which is brilliant uh, we did cop a bit bit of rain this morning it was quite difficult a bit slippery but uh all's well all's well and then we get to nadatta and uh and then we're going to head out to paint a desert for the afternoon it's a really good day not a big day but it was a, a fantastic day as per usual and uh no, yeah. far out eh Oh, we're going to hit traffic then. So we're going to go down yeah. there. It's not staying in. No. No. We don't want to be there. We don't want to be there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, many people around. People? Yeah. Where's home? Ballarat. Oh! Yeah. It's not going to be easy, but we'll do it, you know. And uh, sometimes with the, the real heavy bulldust, we'll get a bit off Where the track. Where are you heading? Uh, Dare. Dare? Yeah. Well, you're going to come into more bulldust and work. Yeah. <laughs> There's one patch, 70 clicks out. Oh, well, you'll know that when you hit it, yeah. Is that the direct Dare, or we're going to get a new crown? New crown. Even that one's got some bad bulldust patches on it. So it wouldn't matter which way you go, yeah. you're going to cop it. Mm. This is maybe. There's nothing wrong with the the, the, the shortcut. Yeah. You do have a screw bulldog patch, but you're going to get the same sort of bulldog patch on the new right, yeah. And it's shorter, isn't it? A lot, yeah, a lot shorter. shorter. 80 feet or under. What would the um, the Fink Crossing be like? The Fink Crossing's all right. No, they've got, they've got a good load base on it. Oh! We'll go that way then. Yeah, like, because I, I had that dropped on its side and I lost about two or three litres of fuel. So yeah, the, the one real bad bull bus patch, there's a few of them along that road, but the one big one, that's 70 kilometres down, 38 kilometres from Mount Bird. Can you get round it? Can no. we get round it? You've got to ride it. it. You've got to go around it. But if you, if you shoulder it, you'd be all right there because uh, the cars don't go on the shoulder. Yeah, it's the ruts that get us. Yeah. It's the ruts. No, if you sit right over on the shoulder at the moment, well, I was down there last week, the best side is going down will be your left hand side yeah. you ride that shoulder and it's not bad because you've got that little bit of distance between the stub yeah. and where the traffic yeah. cars yeah. go and if you sit right on that edge you ride it well when i had uh, uh them bmw boys yep yeah, yeah at that stage of the game it was the right hand side they had to stay there and okay. uh, they said they got through it all right but yeah a few of them had a little bit of trouble they because they went went off the shoulder Hmm? They weren't carrying anything. No, they were carrying very little and uh, they took it to the left hand side, the better side for the bike because oh. you've got a little, little bit more playroom with the road and the uh, yeah. truck. Yeah. So, yeah. 
70 from the turn. Uh, 70 from here. Oh, 70 from here. All right. I'll take a note of that. Yeah, yeah. You lock it in, and then once you get to the 70 k, you know, you'll see it. You won't miss it at all. So we get out to uh, the Painted Desert. It's about 45, 50 kilometres south west of Udnadatta. And uh, it's a pretty easy ride to get out there. Sort of on the late afternoon sunset, but oh, wow. What a perfect time to be out there. Just the light and all the rocks. It is well worth going out to the Painted Desert. Saw a couple of bikes on the way out for the first time in our whole trip, but uh, Painted Desert was one of the highlights of the trip. Anyway, I'm still feeling pretty crook, and it only gets worse as we head into the next camp. And as you can see, it's uh, quite rocky getting into our campsite, and I probably had one of the worst nights of my life out there. But a uh, beautiful sunset, and I'm feeling crook. The trip makes a big turn from here, a real big turn.